Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today is time, it's everybody's favorite video of the month, my November 2020 planner flip through. Uh, this is my pocket size file of packs in the color ochre, a uh, little lovey, and I do, yeah, love it. I, well, it, it takes kind of a beating, like it looks great and I carry it all over the house, just leave it lying around the house. Um, I have a toddler who has, well, fortunately never colored on the leather, but looking good um and i love pocket size so we're just gonna look through what's on the rings today if you want to see the pockets and stuff i have previous flip throughs and a lot of these are very similar though i have moved a couple of the tabs around just this month because you'll see this very first section first of all that's my little baby cutie that's her one month photo she's two months now um i am using the mun weeklies from my summer touch for both my monthly and my weekly this month so i moved it up to the front section instead of the next tab um where the monthly usually goes and so these are the weeks um looks pretty bare and simple uh, i just have room for where uh the the food that we have ingredients for for dinners and then a couple little events and things here these are some specific to do's for a specific day i'm trying to like plan out when um things need to be like succession planted or is that the terminology anyway um this is last week i was doing some more some dailies this week uh, and that kind of helps sometimes I'm trying it again this week um this is the one thing that's not green go vikes uh i am filming this on tuesday but like late late tuesday and i got as far as putting the header for my daily but nothing else I might just leave it that way to sort of highlight what this week has started to look like already. I've been nap trapped all day Monday, all day today. Uh, I did finish watching The Crown though. <laughs> and then this is for next week. So it's all pretty much already set up. Um, I still have a couple things I'll probably add as they come up, but um, it's kind of a weird, I guess it makes my weekly setup easier every week, but um, yeah, it's just kind of weird to not have a lot of stuff to do on my, the weekend as I like look ahead to the next week because it's already there. I don't have my weekly to-do list, task lists, um, somewhere else and needing to be moved to a weekly. They're already on the weekly, which is nice. Then there's just some extra paper here. Uh, the next section has the guy that was in the very front of the planner last month. Um, and so this is the stuff that used to be in the front of the planner um, behind the monthlies. So my line of day journal, I've been keeping up with that nicely because I can catch up after, you know, a couple days if I need to. Some name maybe list, honey do list, and waiting on list. Um, and then this next section is the projects. No, reference. Reference. Um, the list of books that are checked out from the library. Um, my to watch list. I've started watching Next Generation because, um, as I mentioned before, Nap Trapped. We're going to do crib training like when she's four months old. Until then, we're taking the path of least resistance. Um, and then this side is the stuff we want to watch together if that ever happens again, where we just have time to stay up late and not worry about when the baby's going to wake up. Um, gift ideas and personal wish list. And then here is my sort of inbox. I just made a new one because the old one was getting very full. Um, and so the only thing that's on here is private. Um, and then this is, I have, I'm not sure if I did an independent video about it, but uh, this is my sticky note index. You notice that on the last tab as well. Um, that basically, in a ring binder where you don't have page numbers, you can't do an index with page numbers, it just sort of tells you what's in each section um, and what order they're in. So it just makes it a little easier to find something sometimes. This is my garden layout. I've uh, been planting stuff for the winter um, <laughs> here in Southern California. We can plant pretty much all winter long because we basically don't get frost. Um, and the summer is ridiculous. So I tried growing like lettuce in the summer and it literally burned. Um, and so it's doing great so far. I've got little seedlings out there. I've got some collards out there, which are adorable. Um, the broccoli is doing good. So yeah, the, I'm doing winter crops. Uh, anyway, and this is just my, how I'm keeping track of where they all are in my square foot garden. And then this is a log of like what day I planted everything. This is how often I have to go out and plant another square. 
it's a whole thing and I will be doing a video, an updated garden tour coming up probably next month. Uh, this is my craft projects just so I don't forget them because I don't need like a list of projects I'm never getting around to taking up space in my brain. So they're here instead. And then this is the knitting project, the blanket for the baby that I honestly just haven't touched. And I maybe I should bring it for Thanksgiving um, and work on it in the car or something because it's just been it's a mess. I finished my first daughter's blanket before she was born and had the audacity to think that I'd be able to do the same thing. For number two, anyway, these three top tabs are for like active projects. So the first one here is for my sister's baby shower, which by the time this video goes live will be in two days. So we're still wrapping up some stuff there. Um, this next tab is a secret project I'm not going to tell you about yet. And the third tab is this um, pre-Christmas shopping challenge. And I'm not doing the best, but I'm not not doing it. So. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get all of my Christmas shopping done early this year, basically, is the gist. The next tab here is um, stuff for my channel and blog and etc. Um, I know that's wrong, sorry. And I'm not going to show that to you either because it's secret, thank you. This is the future log. This fold out from Peanuts Planner Co. Love it. The uh, 2021 yearly bundle is available now and I generally will wait and buy it at uh, the Black Friday sale or she does a, it's either Black Friday or Cyber Monday or both. Um, and it's usually a pretty good deal. Uh, so that is when I usually buy that and wait till after Thanksgiving to set it up because I don't need my 2021 uh, future log in here yet because I have this guy. Um, this I believe comes at the front and back of one insert. I'm trying to remember where I got it from. If you really need me to tell you, I can look it up and figure it out, but this is from a, another Peanuts Planner Co. It's like a cover of a, a month's of the year freebie or something like that. Um, so basically this is all of 2021. If anything comes up, this is where I put it. Um, and then this is for afterwards. So a couple things came up for 2022, like when our car seat expires. And so that it's always, I think, good to have an and afterwards for your future log. This is birthdays and anniversary. Uh, and then this is recurring tasks. You know, the last time I changed the oil in the car, that kind of thing. Um, changed my toothbrush. And then in the back is some spare paper. Always good to have that. Especially when you end up stuck on the couch with a nursing baby and want to try to get something done. Um, having some spare paper to actually do some project planning on is super useful. And that is everything. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for tuning in. Um, for some reason, these videos always do really well. So I appreciate everyone tuning in. And if you're new here, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell because I post videos twice a week. Thursdays are all this good planner stuff. And I do do a, week, a full flip through once a month as well as plan with me's and other types of planner content videos. Sundays is sort of a grab bag. Lately, it's been a lot of baby stuff because, as I mentioned, I have a two-month-old. And look, look at her. Don't you want more of that goodness? Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye!